Hello there. In this video, I want to look and adapt on Mid Journey 5. So it was recently released and I want to see what is different. How does it work operate from the point of creation? And also we're going to look on a web interface when you access it, your own libraries, how you can manipulate and work with this. So let's go ahead and begin first with our actually generator. And if you're not familiar, the Mid Journey based on a Discord engine. So it's utilized Discord chat to send request and create and send back result. It's got some plus and minuses based on this. If you're not familiar with this, I will provide a link below to show you absolutely beginner guide how to work with Midjourney. It's meaning how to set up your Discord account, how to set up Midjourney account and how to work with all of this. Okay, but assuming you know right at this point the Discord, it does provide some limitations, but it also provides some benefits. One of the biggest limitations for me, it is no in painting or out painting can be done here. You needed web interface for this or some other more advanced options that offer you by other services like, for example, Leonardo, when you can go directly in in painting and paint inside or change canvas do all this negative prompts, more complex, more advanced system, as well as selecting different, even the libraries rendering or different models or a DALI where you can, again, out painting in painting, but it's web based. Of course, if we look for the mid journey, it does provide additional model anime and if you are familiar with this, but it is just one library. Overall, mid journey tried to actually Use that smart approach, which is look on a what prompt you provided and by have it a very sophisticated model that they create by themselves, try to figure out in what style it's created. Of course, the stylization you can apply as well, but general, it does have some limitations because you're limited to specific models. In this case, you cannot use it custom models. You cannot use it train, pre-train your own model and use it here. So you kind of lock in whatever they're provided. I say it is plus and minuses in this case. Okay, as we're speaking, and maybe if you worked before, you notice it is version five. So we have all these different versions, how we can access them. And probably easiest way if you type settings, okay. And as a settings perform, you can see right here, we have it MG version one, we even can go back to first version, second, third, fourth, that is was for some time and a new release five. So you can press select here if you need it, or you can just type dash dash V space version, wherever you want to use it. So you can switch. And this is actually very nice because if some people don't like how the prompt engine work in version five, you can always go to version four and utilize the prompt with version four. Also, if we look now on the settings, we still have it our Niji mode, which is you can create separate bot and access this way, but it is anime library. Okay. We also have a test. We have a test photo. Those old ones that work with different versions. And of course we have it quality different. That is um, included high quality. Um, notice if you put it as some people I noticed put it quality five, it's still default to quality two because this is the highest offer. We also have a different stylizations we can apply to these. And as well on the bottom, we have a public mode, stealth mode if you don't want people to see, but you need pay premium for this. Our remix mode, which I always turn on because when I open, click on the button, make variations, you know, I want to tweak a little bit text sometimes and there's always good things. And right now I'm running on a fast mode or you can put it with a relaxed mode, which kind of nice because I think first week when it was released, you can only render in a fast mode for the way you use it, your GPU time. But now you can use it also relax mode for this, which is kind of very nice. Okay, so probably best way if you select this. However, if you prefer, you can always have it imagine. You can have it red cube and then you can have it version four. So in this case, it will be a rendering version. Notice because I select version five in my string, it will add this option V5 and Q2, but V5 will be ignored because I set on version four before. And this is actually a very nice test. We can run and see what is it different, how much opinionation or 
comprehend how much the engine actually determine and work with the prompt that we provided. Okay, so let's go run a few tests. Right here I have a blue doll. Well, you know, it's help when you spell properly. Blue doll, holding, okay, red ball, and seating in a blue car. So let's go ahead. Actually, right here, yellow. Let's go just different colors. So we put it there. I'll copy this. And by default, we'll go use a different version. So we'll go version one. Okay. So next, we go to imagine. And we're going to use it. Oops. My imagine does not pick up on this. So let's go ahead and imagine again. Okay. And we're going to version two. And you can see how easy it's to do with different versions. Okay. Now we have it version four. And by default, if I don't type anything because I already pre-selected, that will be going with a version five right here. So we have it all these different versions. What we're we going to do right now, it's see most important when it's take our text, how the AI will handle take this text, assign the weights and after send to render what image we come up with. Okay, so right here it's completed and let's look. This is our first version and it does try to do work with the colors. We have it blue, yellow and red. However, it does not really <laughs> represent what I was asking for. So let's go next version two definitely does a little better because we are now can see the car, ball and door. So we have those three distinguished object uh, positioning and coloring may be a little bit different, but it's least there. Three, it's definitely improvement over this because we can see now characters, we can see ball, and definitely person sitting in the car. In some case, we even have it the color. We have it red ball, red, yellow doll, and blue car. And it's much improving when we go to version four because you can see like on the bottom, it's definitely more towards we're going. Of course, we have it mess up a little bit on the coloring and everything. And now we become to better understanding of natural language. And let's look on version five. And it's definitely right here. Look what we have a blue car, yellow doll, red ball. So we have an almost perfect understanding of natural language. And this is, was one of the problem when you write or when you naturally write descriptions, previously models does not handle very well. So this is one of the, again, the biggest change for me. It is how natural language handle now how the prompt will work and it's a huge huge benefit even it's maybe require you to change in the way how you create a prompt but it is will have a better understanding of the prompt engine it does not illuminate the weights as we said before if you know my video previously where it says how you can fine tune um mid journey prompt it does not illuminate or discard this you can still do this the weights still be there in place but now you have much more flexibility with what language you're going to use. So next also options was enabled here. What wasn't before it's a tiling and tiles is a great when you work on any um, texturing background, anything. And look right here. This is just simple ground uh, cover and grass. And again, I love it because it's already gone done resizing for us. So we can go ahead, just click resize, and you can see right here, they appear for us to look. And by the way, here's a small secret. Do you know how you can preview how well tile is work? All what you need to do, go to midjourney.com app, go to your home, and you'll see right here. And if you click on this, this is actually showing you tiled. Look on this. This is already a tiled image, and you can see how well it's work. So if you want to preview how well tiles work, this is probably the best way to do by going to your homepage and preview from there. Again, this is very nice. So I was kind of waiting for the tiles and I'm very happy they're supported here because with all this engine, engine with high resolution rendering, um, accuracy and descriptions, I mean, this is a literally gold mine for any um, 3D developer, other ones. Like one thing I wish it was support also some of the uh, normal maps, bump maps, but you know, it's a just a dream. Okay, another thing was reintroduced back, which I like it, it is image weight. So for example, we have an image of very beautiful, uh, handsome guy here. 
that we can use it. Previously, we cannot say how much I want image affecting my um, overall render, but now we're back to this. So by the way, if you don't know, this is how you're going to do. Right here is a plus, click on this plus, and you can see upload file. And you just upload to place where you want it, select the image you want it, go on the bottom, press enter, and this way you should upload it in Discord. Keep it in mind that Discord, it is allowed you to specific sizes. So if you're not on a Nitro, I think, or whatever, they have a limitation on how big file can be or how many files you can upload it at the same time. So I am free user on a Discord, so I have some limitations, but right here my file is uploaded. So next, what we're going to do it is click on the image, be sure it's open, right click, and in a Windows, we want to say copy image address. On a Mac, I think you need press copy image. So after we're done, we go back and let's do this one. Imagine. Now we're going to paste our image, we have it. And next, we need to put it our info. So we're going ahead and put it maybe um, cyberpunk. robot. I mean, I'll go very simplicity. We can put it very complex string that will have it here. And usually if we press, it will be by default going specific weight. So we'll try this way. Let's go now to change and we'll put it same. Okay. Okay. So, and now you can have it um, I W. So it stands for the image weight. In image weight, we can put it any number from how much we want it. So I'm going to put it number two. So it will weight of two highest. And just to showing, we go out, create same. And this time I put it image weight 0 0.1. So it does have some limitations how much you can put it. And you can notice right here, when you put it too low, it's come up and tell you, hey, you can have it maximum two. It's what I did right here, but we can go only 0 0.5. So it does have it some adjustment to this. And let's go ahead and copy paste this one again. So we have it imagine. And you remember what says before image weight, we can put it, but we can go only lowest as 0 0.5. So in this case, it's how much it will utilize the image, the highest value image weight, the more it will be closer to the image, the less value, the more creativity, it will add more flexibility or uh, experimental, we can say it will happen. Okay, and let's see what is this weight does for us. So when we have it weight of one, it's like half half way. You can see right here, we have it, our images and we do have it recognizable faces, but notice what add it's add all this element creating kind of almost Borg out of my face. If we add more weight on an image, you can see the image more get intact. It's add less elements inside. And of course, when we add more flexibility to AI and the reduced weight of the image, we definitely have it much more replacement. Like actually this one look creepy. Maybe I'll use this for the profile, some of these images, but you can see how much effect it will apply to this. And this is why image weight actually was very useful. And I was sad to see it wasn't implemented before. So right now we can actually play and see how much image will affecting creativity or how much you're going with the prompt as well. So the one thing also they mentioned because current model can produce stunning, literally jaw dropping images. Okay. Quality of the images rendering and it's can produce ultra realistic images. You need to be now a little bit more careful how to use. And this is very important to um, as a creator, so you don't abuse the power. One thing, keep it in mind, that is is only tool. What we're using here, the these AI generate images, it is tool, and it's up to creators to see how they're using this tool. 
Okay, so we kind of look over changes, what's happening here. And by the way, keep it in mind, they announced the version 6 maybe come up in two next month. So it's, a, it's crazy how fast they're developing, but it is very realistic. It's nice. You saw how we can change. And we also put it on those points that is a change there so you can use them. Okay, now let's look on our web interface. And I will say with other services that I'm using. I think Midjourney is my actually favorite interface, web interface to access to my library and other things. And here's the reason why it's very customizable and it's very easy to access content that I created. So let's look first. If you go to app, you log in, you go to your home where you can preview your images. You can change how you can preview these images by going in a settings, layout options. And here you can modify how you want it. So by clicking like tall images, you can set on the descriptions how much you want it. Usually I keep it short by default. So when I go down, the other ones is kind of a little bit more important. I think in this case, it is card size. And you notice right here, medium by default. If you want a little bit bigger image, you just create large and you can preview them a little bit easier. And this is depend on the resolution of your monitor, of course, or device when you use it. Again, by default, I'm using just on a medium as default. But the next one, card layout, and it is have it hover. This is what when you move your mouse over, you can see how it's changed. For example, in my case, you can see right here, I have a pop up notification kind of preview. I can click on two dots and going to the options where I can copy command prompt drop idea or a seed for this if I need it. I can also open a new tab or a discord so I can send this image. And this is nice way if you want actually remember the using image part of this or you want based something on image. So directly from here, you can send this image to your discord and work from that point. You can add to specific collection bookmark or save it. We'll speak about save a little bit later because I love how they done save your images and they may be save a lot of time for you. You also, if you click on an image as well, you can access these properties down here below as well. So all of this with uh, some little bit more options like use profile. This one, you can do all this elements set customizing how your um, gallery look so other people can see as well work same as before save bookmark and all additional options here um notice right here even it's i'm login you can follow so you can follow different people see the art or what they're creating and as well below you have it information notice it still be size 1024 by 1024 i wish they come back to a little bit higher resolution but um if you not yet use it i highly recommend use it uh, gigapixel. I will put a link down below. It's a, one of the best to upscale. It's utilize AI to upscale. So it's add actual details that is not there, which is very incredible how it's work. But I have to say, I wish they actually have it internally a bit upscale bear on this. But well, we work what we have right now. So 1024. And it also says what it was using tags. Very nice. And as well is give it export related. So this is not based on what you created, but it is based on similarity with the prompts or results. On this case, if you your result for some reason, not what you wanted, you can go down and find something, maybe look more what you wanted and use this one as in your next work. And this is one of the greatest things about majority. It's a community. Okay, we'll look on community in a second, but here's a uh, how we can stop names. Some people maybe find this annoying pop up, but general, I like it. You can change this layout, be uh, condensed. So in this case, it does not show up just only when you click. You can also go and change layout on the title display down below, and you can access these options. Some people may like this better with option displayed as well. You can create layout with expanded, which provide more information. Um, personally, I don't like expanded because it does provide some information, but usually prompts shrink very long and they don't fit there anyway. So personal preference, again, let me emphasize personal, it's a hover. Okay, and also in the settings, we have a page layout. By default, it is a narrow, so it's 
big and smaller but because i'm working on 4k monitor and usually my page is quite a bit open i like to display more than just narrow so in this case we're going and we'll use it our wide which is create a longer if i expand it will expand them as well okay so this is about how look let's look over all on interface on the top we have it i can they can expand or minimize your preview you have it your home explore by the way home is bring you to your own page which we'll look in a second explore will give you access to the community feed which is excellent inspirational things so you can look to oval images not the same when you have a preview you can click and copy prompt um access to all this information this is all available to public no you remember they have the privacy or secure kind of hide options you can pay additional um fee monthly fee to not display your images here and it's work very well maybe for the corporations or some who developing things and does not want public to see it. but all of this is open to public so you can preview all images see how they was done look on a prompt analyze which is great great inspirational i always check the feed and the best parts of course if you like somebody who create constant nice work i highly recommend for you to go and follow this person if you like it how they created as well i recommend to bookmark specific image i have a big collection of my bookmarks what people other people created and this kind of helped me to um going towards notice you can access bookmarks on the top and just as example let me click and you can see right here my bookmarks as well if i follow somebody you can see in my follow screen as well we can go back to our community view the below this we have it rank uh, pairs so in this case you will have a two different images and it just say which one you like better and you can go through all of these images this is actually help them to identify which images prefer better to train the model if you need it okay below we have it manage our subscriptions if we need it and as well as subscriptions is still be same i'm personally on the um, standard plane but you still have it you are 10 dollars or whatever 30 dollars so you have it all is different type of the plan they also include pro plan which is include i think stealth image generations and currently i don't really care about this i will highly recommend for you to go help an faq we can cover some stuff here however if you're going to the documentations you'll find the user guide is very useful and uh, have a lot of options a lot of explaining how the language work with weights everything you don't need you don't require it's very natural way how it's flowing but just in case if you're interested you can go access this way as well you can go to your settings cancel your account create so this is simple navigational the one let's go back to home and just look what we have it in our home here and you notice you can specify if you have it sort by heart it's your images you can go from all this newest or top mark whatever images you want in your gallery which is kind of very nice you can also go in a search for example you can put it name texture and let's go to all images that you generated going through the prompts pull out from the prompt and display just those images that you have it my things are many times i put it ak texture so almost everywhere will have it those textures built in notice on the top you have it right here um the arrow and this is actually which allowed you to select so let's go to now and says okay we preview here we can just pull out the grids if we need it or we can have just pull out upscale in this case so it's sorted and now when we pull out upscale i want to download the images so to download images you can simply click and go says and save it but most time when i create i create a collection of the images i want to upload all of them in this case i can click on this arrow and notice what's happening right now if i click on an image it's selecting them and this is option i love it because you can select as many images you want it you can also just click select all and select all will create forever display there so because i don't have it any search it will select all of my images i created or you can say just for example a specific tag image and it will select those images that you needed and after you're done you can just go ahead click add to collection or download and it will download i don't remember i think like 255 images per 
set so you'll have multiple zip files if you have a very large collection and just to test one time i say select all of my images download them and it's actually a process it takes a little bit time but it is send me all of my files that i render ever all of those images in a zip files so you can upload it to yours but overall this is work very well so let's go clear up and this is option the selections it's one of the best i've found from almost all services online with the AI generation. So it's very, very useful. Of course, and if we click on archive, you can see right here, we have it all of the specific by date, which is great. And we can jump in to any specific time like 29 June and see what was creating there as well. This is um, how I say, if you don't like Discord and you're accessing, this is one of the, the best access to all content you created, all generations. And it's one of the well, well done UI for this. And general, what are interesting to me, because many times we cover what new versions can do of render, of course, but how easy you can use this tool and accessibility to content you provided is very important. And this is upgrades, I think, with UI gun, not as, um, very explosive <laughs> boom me not so many people notice but it is one of the best edition okay so let's go ahead and I go overall what we have it here with new mid journey 5 it is much wider style range now applied the train a bigger library now so you can access to this it's more realistic um, some to the scary point of realism because uh, when I try to create like portraits, let me show in a second. And I did purposely create it close up portraits so I can see some of the skin and you can unbelievably you can see the imperfection in the skin in everything. So the train models, look at this, it is very impressive. The pores on a skin creating how realistically imperfection those um frackles and the coloring just coloring so the models train extremely very well done with this um and this is a details details reflection of the eyelashes in the eye and other things of course the i was testing with a close-up render to look on this and this is very impressive new model of the realism um in some cases maybe two realism the next, of course, it's higher quality image when you render and you can see how much details now in each image when created. It's a supporting new of the tiles. It's supporting of the all flexible aspect rate shows. It's supporting of the image weight as well, new introductions. And of course, the prompt, it's now natural language. It is not um, discriminatory. It's a very nice type of the prompt. So you can put it inside now with your language um, when you create a prompts which how i said if you utilize like chat gpt it's work hand by hand it's one of the better ways to do well hopefully you find this video kind of interesting we'll going more in future videos with the prompts how to use it and hopefully this will give you a little bit more in depth on version 5 what is a different and why it's a significant different from version 4 thank you for watching have a great day